Hello, my name is Kai Hockertz. I'm Professor of Social Entrepreneurship at the Copenhagen Business School. And in good Aurora fashion, I'm actually recording this video as I'm on the URV campus in Tarragona. So if you look at the background here, you can see the buildings of the URV campus. What I would like to talk to you about is the new work package 3 in the Aurora 2-bit and in specifically about the task 3.2 in which we will be working with a seismic survey. For those of you thinking in the old Aurora 1 language, that would be Work Package 311, the Aurora Competency Framework, one element of which is the seismic survey. Why do we need the seismic survey? We are here to answer this question. How do we know that we actually achieve the Aurora mission? And the Aurora mission is to equip our students with the skills and mindsets to help address societal challenges through social entrepreneurship and innovation. Now, in the first step, we have talked to all the different Aurora partners to identify what social entrepreneurship and innovation contains. And to be very clear, this is not limited to business or management. What we have here is three dimensions that every student, every single student at the Aurora University should be able to learn. That is impact competencies, entrepreneurship competencies, and engagement competencies. So whether you are an engineering student, a business student, or an American history or a language student, these are competencies that we feel all our students should have, in different degrees admittedly, but it is something that we need if our students are to become societal change makers. Now, let's have a look at impact competencies. These refer to, for example, an analytical competence to understand wicked problems. So how can we understand the very complex problems that society is facing? We need an impact assessment competence that allows us to measure the social impact. We need a normative competence that allows us to make our values clear and express them. And finally, we need an impact commitment competence that allows our students to commit to societal change making. Secondly, we have entrepreneurship competences where we're looking at problem solving. How do we solve wicked problems through design solution, through engineering solutions, through policy changes? How do we create the economic revenue that will be needed to implement those problems? But also future thinking. How do we teach our students to craft and evaluate multiple future scenarios that allow them to understand how short-term decisions have long-term impact? And finally, we want our students to have the action competence under uncertainty. Sustainable development requires our students to act even when not all the information is known. And thirdly and lastly, we have engagement competences, which you will realize overlap with another element from the Aurora competency framework, namely the BEVI. Here we're talking about abilities to take the perspective of others, to engage into democratic and participatory uh, engagement, to manage tensions between values, and lastly, to innovate the fusion that you are coming up as part of your problem solution. Now, how can you use this, uh, the, the seismic survey? Every time we engage into Aurora learning, we can use the seismic survey to identify whether that learning has led to changes in those 12 competencies. Let me jump ahead a little bit here to the numbers that we have achieved so far. At this point, between Innsbruck, Iceland, Palatsky and CBS, we had 1,400 students in a number of different study programs who have answered the seismic survey. Let me pick on one example here. This is data from the Palatsky University, where you can see that on the one hand, we have students from law and legal science who have answered, and on the other hand, we have students from social work. Uh, unsurprisingly, legal students score higher on analytical thinking. That is something that you probably would expect among legal scholars. And on the other hand, among social work students, they are a little bit higher on perspective taking, the ability to understand what other people think uh, and feel. Now, what surprised me here was future thinking, where actually the social work students are scoring lower than the legal students. Now, this could be something that the um, study board directors of the social work program may want to take with them, may want to analyze and say, isn't future thinking something that is particularly important for students who are going to become social workers? 